Hi guys, welcome back to Modern Golf. Hope you guys are having an incredible day and an even better week. Today we're talking about this guy. A lot of you have asked. We finally got our hands on one, so we're going to review it and really give you our thoughts of the Pins and Aces player's preferred stand bag. What do we think about it? We'll go over the features and I'll wrap up and tell you do I think I would suggest it or not. So for this particular review, we're going to be giving away, Pins and Aces sent us um, a beer slash, I'd say soda or pop can uh, holder that I think it holds six or eight or 12. Uh, the best comment in the comment section on our YouTube video will be sending this to you. So certainly pay attention to that. We'll let you know when the contest ends and all that good stuff. But let's talk about Pins and Aces and really this golf bag. So. I've had this now for a few weeks. I've used it a number of times. Um, I'll kind of give you my thoughts. Again, talk about certain features that I like, certain things that I think the bag is missing, um, and then what I recommend it. With all that said, let's talk about the probably the most important part um, is the top. And so this top is a five-way top. Um, if you've watched any of my reviews in the last year or so, it's not my favorite top. Um, so if I have one thing that I don't love about this, it's the five-way top. I will say I've enjoyed it, and I'll put pictures up now of the setup. So I put driver three with hybrid, my putter here, and I go four, five, six iron, seven, eight, nine, uh, pitching gap, and then my um, kind of sand slash lob here at the bottom. I like the materials on the top very much. It's a softer, denser, um, velour. Um, the one thing I will say that a lot of people don't will say they don't like is the plastic top here. But overall, I like um, the functionality of their five-way. This bag, because I know people will ask me, it's right around six and a half pounds and right around 34, 35 inches, depending on where you get your measurements from. So pretty much standard with the other higher-end bags uh, that are out there. This bag is, if you're new uh, to Pins and Aces, comes in a very variable of colors, a variety, I should say a variety of colors. Um, I love this lime green. It is awesome. Um, it is such a cool color. They have black and black and gray and black and white and navy and pink and camo. and So they really have done a phenomenal job of covering the color basis for anybody. The other thing we'll talk about here is price point. Where is this aligned price point? I think this is the key to this whole review, and I'm gonna say that to the end of, of why I think this is a good or bad bag. So, as you guys see here, one huge pocket, right, with the rain hood. You guys know how I feel about rain hoods, not a huge fan. There are, there are very little to any compartments in here at all, and I'll put pictures up, but there's really a neat little thing here for your keys to hang on, but outside of that, there really isn't too many frills. There's no really pockets within inside. I'll get rid of that. There are no real pockets inside this bag. Um, this is just one big open cavern. I want to show you because this is one of the things they sell. They call this their Zen Pocket. Um, if you use chewing tobacco, this is what they suggest. I think it's a neat little pocket. What I would suggest, and I can't tell, um, what I would suggest with this pocket uh, for further things with them is maybe put a magnet in there to have some type of closure. I think this would be a phenomenal place for your phone or keys or wallet um, without putting it in this pocket. But again, it's subjective. I think it's a great use of space because most companies and most bags, this would be just a wasted space. So I do like that aspect a lot. The zippers, and you guys know how I'm a junkie for zippers. I like the zippers. They sound great. They also do a nice rubber coating over the zippers that has a, a little form function to it, um, or a little form to it, which I really, really like. They also have here, which is really neat, and I didn't realize this until I was actually using it last week. Um, kind of a, what I would say, where I put my glove, or some of you guys put your towels, um, and this, this carabiner actually, if you want to put your keys or something on there. I think this is a really clever idea. I haven't seen this with anybody else. So very cool. And this feels like it's made of aluminum. It's not a cheap plastic, which I love. You guys know I'm, I'm a quality junkie. Little Velcro here for your gloves. Um, 
or what have you. This pocket, I love. This reminds me of very techy. Guys, if you don't know, I'm a tech junkie. I love to have the techy looking things. Huge velour pocket here for your valuables. I love it. I love what this bag does. I love the garages for the zippers here, okay? Let's get into this side. So we'll start with the top cuff we talked about here. We also talked about a little bit about this handle I wanna really get into. This is one of the coolest features and I don't have it, but they actually sell a speaker that magnetizes. I wonder, I wonder if I have anything magnets here, I don't. Um, oh, I can here put him, let's see if he fits. Rest in peace. So you can see there's actually a steel plate in there that you can put a magnet to hold things on. But they sell a speaker um, that you can actually attach to here. And I'll put the picture up of it now, which I think is an ingenious idea. Um, so if you have a magnetic range finder or you're at the range and want to put a speaker with you or your range finder, great little place. I like the handle. It feels like it's all the same material, although there's a little bit of like a... Uh, a fabric behind here, but overall a really, really good um, handle there. They're strapped, which is probably one of the most important things for you guys who walk like me. Um, really, really good pivoting um, structure here for their straps. I like it a lot. I found these super comfortable. You can see super thick foam on these. Um, really thick. I mean, like, these guys went above and beyond um, with those so let's get into the magnetic pocket here just one big open pocket and I'm okay with this velour line for valuables or your range finder uh, or what have you and I'm okay with that one thing I do love about what these guys have done is you can see even the trim piece here is like a rubberized material which I like I think it really pulls out especially on this colorway the accent um, of this bag large super large ball pocket again a lot like some other brands we've seen where it's removable. I would say what Pins and Aces has probably done is taken the best of some of the best golf bags around and then kind of manipulated and added it uh, to this bag. So the other cool thing which I love is this huge pocket and I'll, I don't know if you can see guys in the camera it's cooler lined what I call igloo lined um, so if you want to put your yoohoo's or Dunkin Donuts or Skittles in here it's a great place for it the material is the same as the other high-end bags that you guys have seen I think when I get to the price point I think that's what makes this such a unique opportunity let's say uh, to buy there is a little pen finder here pen finder a pen slot here uh, for your Sharpies or pencils or what have you. I would not put a pencil in here because I think it'll go get lost. Um, one of my favorite things, and you guys know if you watch any of my other reviews, the bottom of the bag. Um, rubber grips on these four sections and their logo on there I think is a huge hit. I love it. They also have a grip area. So when you're picking up the bag right here, it's a little different material. It's black. It's not super tacky, but it does a, a good job. We'll get to this side, large pocket here. Again, just open cavern, really nothing in there. And then this kind of slant pocket here as well. So lastly for this one, let me get these out of the way. Lastly, the hip pad. I really have enjoyed I actually played a week ago um, and carried this for nine holes. And I was really surprised on how comfortable this was. Really nice job again, and I've said this for every bag manufacturer, so I hope these guys don't take it the wrong way, is I wish they would do some type of zipper pocket in here that I can stuff my rain hood into. Um, but really, really good. The legs are not car carbon fiber, um, but they do have some very unique feet. They almost look like little claws Rawr! Um, on there. And then certainly the umbrella and a loop and then the tag up here or the uh, attachment up here to put your bag in or your umbrella in sorry um, really really good bag let's talk price point and I think this is where you got to pay attention to this bag so if you're still watching and you haven't turned this off yet thank you but um, <laughs> most high-end bags are in the 400 price plus price range this one is 299 and here's where it gets even better. 
they do a lot of promotions to give 20% off. So you take a $300 bag, minus 20%, let me do my math, so 60 bucks off, you're at a $240 price point. 240. So for the people who don't, didn't wanna buy higher end bags in the $400 price range, I get it, I understand. This is your opportunity to get a golf bag that is super high end, but for certainly a considerably less money. Um, how would I rate this next to the top level bags? I'd say it's very close. Is it exact? No. There are some shortcomings. You guys know the carbon fiber legs. Again, if you care about that, I, I understand, but um, the, the material is very close um, to the other ones. I think these guys have done a phenomenal job for their first rendition of a golf bag. Um, I got this bag a few weeks ago and initially told my wife, I think this is going to be my gamer for 2024. And she said, are you sure? I love this bag. I think it's a phenomenal bag. I think it's an incredible first iteration. And I think the price point for $240. And, and shipping, free shipping. So let's say you're at a 250, 255 price point. Man, this is a good, good golf bag. So um, again, please leave your comment. You have to be a subscriber um, to win this. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, and let us know if you have one of these bags and you've put it through the paces like I'm starting to. Let me know what your thoughts are. I think this may be one of the best bags um, in 2024 by far. Super great price point, super incredible qualities. Um, the only thing, again, and, I, and I, just me, I would love to see them uh, just do a 14-way top, and I think they would be going crazy. And I know there's people out there saying, I don't like a 14-way top, I like a five or six. This bag is perfect for you. Uh, my personal thing, I would like a 14-way top, but overall, really, really, oh, and I'll show you here, too. I, I should have said this earlier. This has one of the, the best base systems um, to lay flat, and that's what one of the things they really want to promote when you go on their site and they sell you. It really lays flatter and more horizontal, which is what I like in a golf bag. I don't want a, my stand bag to be like this. I want it to be as flat. Again, I have nothing in it now, um, so it's not as heavy, So, but it does lay even flatter. I think this is a great, great golf bag for the price. Um, I'll peek around here. But if you haven't checked it out, pinsandaces.com. Again, not sponsored, not paid for. Uh, a lot of you have asked me, hey, what do you think about pins and aces? Uh, we finally got one, like I said, in hand, and I really like it. Um, I think they've done an incredible job. And again, kudos to these guys. Let's upset the marketplace. Uh, I think they're gonna, <laughs> I think they're gonna wreak havoc on some of these brands. I really do. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. Um, if you are been a subscriber from day one or last week, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, we have a ton of stuff coming up in the next few months for golf related golf related stuff. Uh, so let us know and let me know what you think of uh, the pins and aces bag and also this colorway. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Thanks, guys.